facts. But if you once again, if you look at the actual actions of the administration, it's incredibly unhelpful. Uh, they've all they've given away all leverage right up front. And we're seeing this as a theme with the Biden administration in terms of handing out cash, hoping it it fixes the situation. So they've already agreed to give hundreds of millions of dollars to the Palestinian Authority without any conditions, without a denouncing of terrorism and Hamas in the West Bank, uh, without changing what's being taught in its school curriculum, uh, which basically teaches uh, Palestinian kids that Israel is evil, and, and importantly, without changing the governing situation on the ground. There's just endemic corruption within the Palestinian government uh, that that is a real disservice to its people, yet American t- taxpayer dollars are going to flow back into that situation. And meanwhile, the administration has distanced itself from Netanyahu and from our greatest ally in the region, Israel, and has begun peace talks with its greatest enemies, not peace talks necessarily, but but negotiations uh, with Iran uh, and, and moving back into the Iran deal, which the Israeli government is steadfastly against. So I think if you look at the actions on the ground, uh, incredibly unhelpful, and some would even say destabilizing.